It takes hundreds of volunteers to put together the Copper Dog 150. Thousands of people showed up to see Friday's start, and many returned for today's big finish. TV6's Blair Caldwell tells us how the event went. The 2015 Copper Dog 150 has officially come to a close. Across the finish line first was Bib 16 from Michigan. We were hoping to finish at least one day with, with a, a good strong finish. We did today. We had an excellent run. Um, nine came in strong, happy tails wagon, and that's what we look for. Mushers described this weekend's weather as ideal for sled dog racing. The trail conditions were excellent. There was a nice breeze, kept the snow cool on top. Um, it was a good fast trail. The winner this year was Dennis Lavoda. He's been mushing since 1973 and has participated in this race since its first year. Still soaking it in. This is a legitimate success. This is a really competitive race here, so just proud of our dogs, happy to do it, to be on top. What a great day for me. The 6th Annual Copper Dog 150 is officially in the books. Organizers are calling it a success thanks to the many spectators and volunteers. We've been here many years um, watching the dogs and it's exciting and I guess everybody gets about as excited as the dogs do. It's just uh, an event that we enjoy in the Copper Country. It definitely will go in as a success in many ways. We've hit, hit some bumps along the road, but that's what it's all about. We've already got a, a running log of, hey, next year we need to do this. So we're going to just keep getting better and better and working harder and harder every year. 20 of the 21 teams that started the race crossed the finish line today and all within about an hour of each other. For more specific race standings, you can visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. Blair Caldwell, TV6 News, Calumet.